Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this cowl here. It's made with the bean stitch. <laughs> okay, um, it is, I have mine where it's permanently sewed together so it will not come undone. It's sewed here and here. You don't have to do that. I just think it's easy, that way it just slides over your head and you don't have to adjust it every single time. Um, but you can leave it undone because I know some people like to uh, maneuver cowls and dress them up different ways and that's fine too either way is fine but mine's just permanently sewed and then I just had a brooch on it here in my picture could also use a big button or something whatever you wanted to do but anyways it's actually pretty easy so let's go ahead and get started on this okay for this project I used some yarn that I got some from Mary Maxim it's called Starlet sparkle now it's a uh, medium weight number four and it's uh, 100 well almost a 100 percent acrylic minus the little uh, streamers in it you don't have to use this yarn any um, medium a four weight yarn will work now there are 196 yards in one skein and i went through um not quite all it's used so i'm going to say you're going to need about 300 and 50 375 yards to finish this cowl and then i'm going to be using a size j which is a six millimeter crochet hook and if you want to put a brooch like i said or a button on it you're going to need that the button that i have i didn't put it on it but i did show it this is a two and a half inch button but whatever size button that you choose will be fine okay so i'm going to show you on a smaller scale but if you want to make it the size that I made it, you want to start out with a chain of 86 stitches. All right, once you get your chain of 86 done, this is the length of the cowl that we're doing. If you want to make it longer, um, this stitch is done in a multiple of two. So now what we're going to do, once you get your chain of 86 done, we're going to do a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Remember, we don't count the one that's on our hook. So there's one stitch there, and then you want to go into the next one, and single crochet. And now you want to work one single crochet in every stitch for the length of your chain. Just like that. One single in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. All right, once you make it to the end, you should have a total of 85 stitches at the end of row one. Row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to put a single crochet into this very, very first stitch. Like that. And now we're going to skip one stitch and we're going to do a bean puff stitch into the next. And I'll show you how we'll do that. So we skip one, and in the next stitch, we do not yarn over. We just go into it and draw up a loop. And then we yarn over and go into it and draw up a loop. Yarn over again, go into it, draw up a loop, and yarn over one more time. Go into the same spot and draw up a loop. So you'll have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight loops on your hook now. You want to yarn over and go through all eight and chain one. So that's how the puff bean stitch is made in this pattern. Now we're going to repeat that. So we want to skip one stitch. Now remember, the first time we go into the stitch, we do not yarn over. So skip one, go into the next stitch, and draw up a loop. Now we want to yarn over and go into the same stitch and draw up a loop three times. So that's one, two, and three. And you'll have a total of eight loops on your hook, yarn over, go through all eight, and chain one. 
again we're going to we're going to skip one and the first time we go into the stitch we do not yarn over so skip and go into the next stitch and draw up a loop now we're going to yarn over and go into the same stitch three times total so that's one two three eight loops on your hook yarn over and go through all eight and chain one and that's what we're going to repeat to the end of the row so again we skip one and puff a bean into the next we're actually going into the stitch four times total but the first time we do not yarn over so we go in we don't yarn over go in and drop a loop that actually makes the first time but then we're going to yarn over and go in and drop a loop three times total eight loops on your hook yarn over go through all eight and chain one and we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to the end of the row skip one stitch and puff bean into the next eight loops yarn over go through all eight chain one skip one puff bean into the next just like that and chain one so I'm going to repeat that until I get to the end of row two all right when you come to the end I just did my last last puff bean and I chained one you should have two stitches left skip one stitch and single crochet into the last and you should have a total of 41 puff stitches now puff bean stitches all right now row three is the repeat row for the whole rest of the pattern so it's just an easy one row repeat it's just not it's not a hard cow to do at all so row three we are going to chain one and turn our work we want to put a single crochet into that very first stitch like that and now this is where we're going to put our puff bean stitches from now on you see your next two puff bean stitches you pull them apart you see that space right there that's where our next puff bean stitch goes so without yarning over remember you go through that space draw up a loop and then you want to yarn over and draw up a loop three times one to do our puff bean stitch two three eight loops yarn over and go through all eight and chain one and then we're going to repeat that you go to your next two bean stitches here and if you pull them apart you can see right there that little triangle space that's where you always need to put your bean stitch so go right into it and do your puff bean stitch there chain one now you go to your next one puff bean stitch into that spot again find your next spot here right there puff bean stitch into it And this is what we're going to repeat until we get to the end of the row. We're puffed bean stitching in every one of these little spots beside every puffed bean stitch from the previous row. Just like that. Pretty soon you'll be booking right along so go ahead and repeat that until you get to the end of the row all right I'm coming to the end I'm gonna go into my lat the side of my last 
puff bean stitch chain one and then you want to end by single crocheting into your last single crochet and you'll have 41 puff bean stitches again so it's just a repeat of that row repeat row three so we just chain one and turn single crochet into the very first stitch and then puff bean stitch there in that little triangle spot on the side of every puff bean stitch try not to drop your stitches like I'm doing <laughs> No, but it's it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it, and it should be booking right along. And you just repeat this until you get to the end again. This is my last one here. And in with the single crochet into your last single crochet. And you'll still have 41 stitches. So you just want to keep repeating row three. Back and forth, back and forth. You'll have 41 stitches. 41 puff stitches. I'm sorry 41 puff stitches at the end of every row and you want to do that until you get a total of 17 rounds done or 17 rows done All right now once you get your 17 rows done Don't tie off what I'm gonna do is go around the whole piece with single crochet and that we're gonna do a couple a few extra single crochets in the corners and that'll help them lay a little bit flatter so we're just gonna go ahead and I just finished my single crochet there at the end of uh, row 17. Don't tie off. What we're going to do is chain one. Don't turn or anything. We're going to start working down the side. And what we're going to do is put one single crochet in every stitch all the way down the side. And it's kind of hard to tell where you need to put your single crochet. But I just kind of evenly space out my, my uh, single crochet crochets the best that I can so just evenly space out one single crochet down the side here And all this is doing is cleaning up the edges nice. And like I said, it's going to help these corners lay a little bit flatter once we get to them. All right, now, come on up here to the corner. You want to find your corner stitch up here, or just somewhere around the corner. You know, you don't have to be exact. But once you get right up here to the corner, I'm going to put four single crochets in it, the same stitch. So there's one, two, three, and then four. Now I'm going to work along the bottom, putting one single crochet in every stitch. You'll probably be able to see where the single crochets need to go a little bit better on the bottom and the top than you will on the sides. But just do your best to put one single crochet in every stitch, just like this, until we get to our next corner. Now you can see by putting four single crochets there, that just rounded that corner nicely. It gives it a nice clean 
finished look. That's what we want, especially if you make your projects to sell. So I'm going to continue putting one single crochet in every stitch. Well, especially if you make your projects to wear too. I should just <laughs> sell or wear, give away. You want them to look as nice and neat, as clean as possible. So I'm going to meet back up with you when I get to the next corner. All right, I've made it to my next corner. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put four single crochets into it. And now I'm going to work down the short side again, evenly spacing out my single crochets. One. I just try to do one at, at the end of every row. That's kind of what I try to do, but it's never perfect. So just evenly space them out. best that you can until you get to your next corner I'm just gonna keep going here until I get to my next corner here the number of stitches you have at the end is probably gonna be different than mine because we're just doing our best and that's okay the amount of stitches you have doesn't doesn't matter the amount of single crochet crochets you have at the end it doesn't matter so when you get up here to this corner I'm going to go ahead and put four single crochets up here that now I'm going to be working across the top so I'm going to put one single crochet in the chain one space and one single crochet on top of every bean stitch so like that And then the chain space and on top of the bean like that and I'm gonna do this all the way across until we get to the end of the row all right now when you make it to the end and you make it to your last stitch on this side we're gonna go ahead and put four single crochets into the last stitch and then we're going to end by slip stitching in our first single crochet over here on this side. Not the chain one that we did, but the first single crochet. And then we can tie that off. And what you want to do, what I like to do, is give my piece a stretch all the way down and at the corners. So I'm going to go ahead and clip that and hide those tails. And then we'll, fold, we'll go ahead and uh, wrap it up like a cowl. All right, so to fold a cow, I'm going to try to do it without it being on a mannequin, which is kind of hard, but I always fold the um, neck down like that, and then the neck down on this side a little bit, and I always take, there's a few different ways you can do it, but you want this side, this is so hard to do it when it's not on a mannequin, to come up onto this side this way so this is this is a long ways and here's your other side you want to flip it to where it connects here now some people sew their cowls and you can adjust it there we go some people sew their cows so they never come undone that way they don't have to fold them all the time and that's actually a pretty good idea see that and then you can take a button or brush. You can brush it up. That way you can take it apart. You can put a button, sew it up. Uh, just put a few stitches up the side here, hold it together here and up this side and hold it together there. And you can just permanently sew a button on it. That's something you can do too. That's completely up to you. Some people don't like to sew them. That way you can just slide it on your head and you don't always have to fiddle around with it trying to get it just right some people don't do that because they like to wear their uh they like to wear them different ways so. okay so fold your collar down a little bit 
and then this one comes over like this not quite as far as this one this side you take it bring it down like that and this flat side right here needs to come up onto this side like that see that it's so hard to explain but it's like that and then you fold it and then you can sew a permanent button on it if you want or brush but to sew it up um all i'm gonna do is take my yarn needle and just kind of stitch it up really easy i mean just a little bit down the sides here that way it never comes undone so my suggestion would be if you have a mannequin to try it on at first and get it situated how you want it if you're going to sew it up permanently or try it on yourself if you don't have a mannequin and get it how you want it so i just tried mine on my mannequin and this is kind of how i have to have it folded and sewn and like i said all i'm gonna do is just kind of put a few stitches in it just to hold it i'm gonna go back and forth i'm not gonna go around like a whip stitch in this way it's never going to come undone you don't ever have to worry about fiddling around say you're up and trying to go to work in the morning and you want to wear your nice cow you're, you're running late and you just can't get the thing to lay how it's supposed to be this is a good way to saw it permanently sew it how it has to be and that way it's over your you can just slide it right over your head as you're going out the door put your coat put your cowl on put your coat on and out the door you go like I said, my sister-in-law, she'll really, really like this. But this is what I'm doing. And I'm going to do it up, up this side too. And that way it'll be perma -sewed. And then I think I might use the button. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Okay, I got it sewed from here to here. Because remember, you don't have to sew it if you don't want it to be permanent. If you want to, um, if you're going to be using a heavy brush or something, you might want to just put a few stitches right here. Not, um, of course not to the back side, but just right here to hold this from flopping down. Otherwise, you can sew on a big button if you want. And make it permanent. Or just leave it the way it is and um, shape it however you want, whenever. But like this, now it'll just slide over your head. You don't ever have to try to get it right again. But that's it. That's my that's that's my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. If you make this or um, anything um, else of my tutorials, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can post it on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. Um, don't forget to check me out also on Instagram. There's a link to that below too. And if you look over there on the right hand side of the screen, there's a playlist of my other cows and stuff. In case you want to check them out. Maybe you're in a cow making mood now. You want to make some more. Maybe I got some that you like. So until next time. Have a good day.